so dear students in this module we'll talk about the controls as part of a form in the previous module we talked about the method right of the get and the post and in this module we'll get into more details so what is a control a control is a container okay which consists of many items or objects or elements which we'll be discussing and using these controls we manipulate the, uh, the the what we need to display on the screen what we need to send to the server manipulation in terms of how do we manage and arrange all of this right so let's go into the outline of this module so the outline is about the forms form is a container of controls of course i'll talk about it which consists of the method which consists of the action which consists of the tags the different types of controls the attributes of controls all of this will be discussing in this module and then is the form design issues there are two main form design issues is the size of the form and how do we manage the size of this forms i'll spend more time on the form issues because the user interacts with the web server through these forms and this has become more and more important when we have small screen handheld devices with minimal or minimal real estate in terms of screen size so what should be displayed on the form so these are the issues which we'll be talking about with the with vis a vis, vis to the form issues of course we'll also talk about the hidden controls this is very interesting hidden controls hidden controls is that the data is being passed from the form to the server or from the form to the form and that data is not displayed shown to the user of course it has its own benefits like the security also and making the things simple appear in the url window so let's go into the more details so what is a form form is a con is a container of control and what the form consists of it consists of the method and the action and the method the get and the post we have already discussed very briefly right so using the get method the server is being uh, directed to generate a page and post we are sending transfer transfer is taking place right and of course uh, the actions are execute the program and the path is also given where the program has to be executed and of course when i tell the server which program to execute it could be retrieving a page it could be retrieving something static generating something dynamically or running a script and so on and i have to specify the path also where it is located and for the for the uh, every form has a name also what kind of character encoding is used in the form and the content of the form what are the tags being used which will be discussed so these are the different uh, elements or the things associated with the form now if you look at the bottom of your screen now i have over here an application i have over here a form also and in this action part if the location of the item to be executed to be retrieved is other than my hard disk then i give the complete url which is given over here i believe now you understand the the importance and how they are being used so what are the controls uh the controls is a long list of controls you can see on the screen and in the subsequent modules i'll be looking at discussing with you showing you these controls and i will also discuss with you uh, the code which goes behind these controls so very very briefly we have these buttons over here in the control these buttons could be general and these buttons could be special buttons special buttons are like submit special buttons are like reset with these special buttons remember no data is passed with the general buttons data is of course passed or i can pass data or i can have a command associated with that uh, general button which could be uh, forward or backward or whatever 
and sending the data also then i have the check boxes check boxes can have a yes choice can have a no choice i can have a group of radio buttons also and of course in the remember in the radio buttons only one choice is selected at a time and then i can have menus also which allow me to select one item or multiple items i can have control text boxes which single line or multiple line and of course i can have specialized text fields used for passwords when i use them for passwords then these are specialized and they don't display what is typed which is obvious and of course i have this image fields also image control hidden control and i'll talk about the application of the hidden control also and then of course object and select controls also so you see there there are whole lost and whole list of controls which will be covered in the subsequent and this module also so what are the attributes of these controls for example i have this type so the type is specified whether it's a radio button it's a text it's a text area so this is how i specify then of course the name also now this is very interesting the value of the control now you can set the value of the control the default value or you cannot uh, for example no data in initial no data on special specialized controls okay and of course it's a value name pair which is being sent to the server or you may leave the value altogether so it is the type of the style you're using and then there are other controls also for example what is the width of the control what is the maximum character capacity or the characters which can be typed in that control and the checkbox is checked or not and so on now lastly is the control flow whether that control flow is moving from down the page or this control from a side to side by default it moves from top to bottom but it may be side to side for this you used to have tables right so it is up to you how you manage the movement of the control within your page now i come to the more uh, challenging part which is the hidden controls the hidden controls the type is hidden the contents are not shown so what is the purpose of hidden control it could be passing data from one page to the other page and the hidden control has a name and the value like other controls the only difference is that you don't see the contents of the hidden control and what is the purpose of hidden control you can create fields hidden fields and you can assign values to those hidden fields so they are uh, the, the 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 main difference which we are seeing over here is that the contents are not visible so what are the types these are specified controls they can hide button cannot hide button so it means that the hide control cannot be applied to buttons because the buttons are displayed right so it is a special type of control now remember one thing the difference between the hidden control and the control which is not visible so more details are not uh, within the scope of this module so now let's talk about the submitting a form so when we submit a form what happens we can reset something okay or we can ignore something so now when the reset option is there on submitting a form remember all the values which were initially entered by the user those values are set to the default value which were hard coded in the form in the value part and we have this submit and reset buttons the submit button clicking on it doesn't have any data value associated with it it just submits the form as per the url which describes where the server is and which script is to be run where is going to go right and for the reset it is resetting to the initial value so these are the things which happen when we submit a form and finally the form design issues a form has to be as small as possible because if the number of elements in a form is like more than 10 right uh, people feel that they are overwhelmed right so one thing is the size of the form it should be small as possible and you should be able to see what is on the form with 
मिनिमल स्क्रॉलिंग बेटर देर इज नो स्क्रॉलिंग बेटर देर इज नो स्क्रॉलिंग बट विद मिनिमम स्क्रॉलिंग विद मिनिमम स्क्रॉलिंग अदर थिंग अबाउट द फॉर्म साइज इशू इज द लॉजिकल साइज ऑफ द फॉर्म विद रेफरेंस टू द स्क्रीन विद रेफरेंस टू वट इज डिस्प्लेड टू द यूजर द एरिया ऑक्यूपाइड बाय द फॉर्म शुड बी मिनिमाइज एंड इट शुड बी ऑन अ स्मॉल एरिया ऑफ द स्क्रीन एंड रिमेंबर वन थिंग दैट बिकॉज अ फॉर्म वेन सबमिटेड टू द सर्वर इंगेज द सर्वर फॉर प्रोसेसिंग नाउ इफ यू आर सबमिटिंग अ फॉर्म एंड देर इज नथिंग फॉर द सर्वर टू डू इट जनरेट्स काइंड ऑफ ओवर हेड ऑन द सर्वर to find something that it doesn't have to do it reflects upon the performance so if the data to be submitted is not part of a control element don't use forms use the data use the submission outside other than the forms so when you have large forms what you do split the forms into multiple screens for example ask for uh, the information about the user in case of registration ask for the feedback ask for something else so you have split the forms into multiple forms and use the get command to send the data to the next screen and how use the hidden fields so the data is being sent to the next screen now remember in the previous module i told you that when you send uh, with the with the with the this get method okay uh, the data is displayed it's not part of the message body so you can send the data using the get command and a dynamically generated page confirms to the user what has been sent to the server i believe you understand this right and this is step by step you take the user from one screen to the second screen to the third screen i am talking with reference to the registration so we have this step 1 it takes to step 2 it takes to step 3 and finally all of the data that was collected by the user is finally submitted and that data was using from or moving from one screen to the other screen using the hidden field so that's all i have for this module thank you for your time